today's generation have lived with media by their side. Due to this, humans have become more dependent on it. With just one click, you will get whatever you want. But have you ever wondered where did it all begin? Just like how humans evolved according to Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, media as well has undergone several stages of development. First is the prehistoric age. Before 1700s, fire has been discovered and people also developed tools and forged weapons which they used for their writing medium such as clay tablets where characters were imprinted on a wet clay with a stylus made of reed. They also used petroglyphs, a rock where they engraved the happenings of their daily lives and used to describe their surroundings as to what they see. Following the prehistoric age is the pre-industrial age. According to history, Samuel F. B. Morse and Alfred Bale invented the electromagnetic telegraph and Morse code that enables people to connect and send messages across the four corners of the world. Bale improved Morse's original design and substituted the mechanics of the register to punch out the code via electric impulse. And this caused the change of worldwide communication. After so, electronic age came. During this age, the number system was created which represents the numbers with every value that you're saving into your computer memory. Transistor was another invention in this age. It is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signal and electrical power. It also works as on and off switch of any devices. After all this, the generation of computers was born. The first generation of computers between 1946 to 1959, vacuum tube was used as a basic component for the computer. Manchester Mark I is considered as the first commercially available general purpose computer followed by Colossus digital computer that has 1,700 volts. Another is the ENIAC or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer which is the world's first general purpose computer. Going to the second generation computer. The transistor is also used in this age. Some notable inventions are the Unibac or the Universal Automatic Computer and PDP or the Program Data Processor. Next is the third generation computer. There is an improvement that made computers smaller in size and made it more reliable and efficient to use. During this generation of computers, integrated circuits were used as a replacement for transistors. Fourth generation of computers. Microprocessors were made and is responsible for processing the unique set of instructions and processes. It is the most important unit within a computer system. Fifth generation of computers. Artificial intelligence like robots were invented as it emphasizes the creation of intelligent machines that program to work and react like humans.
New Media. New media is made available using different forms of electronic communication through the help of computer technology. This includes contents that are on demand through the internet like mobile games and music. It could be terrible, and it could be great. It's not clear. Right. But one thing is for sure, we will not control it.